is symbol table symbol table is actually the continuation of token separation once token separation is done the symbols are organized in a symbol table with many attributes their name the value or any um, identifier keywords what and all are related to that particular token all the information will be stored in the symbol table so in symbol table uh, for that first we will be taking the number of lines as an input in a program we have in table uh, b is equal to so and so value so in case if i'm giving a in comma b as the uh, is equal to something i need to make sure that a is also identified as an integer b is also identified as an integer the value for a because it is not given should be null or zero or and if i'm giving any value to b that should be uh, taken in for the value of b and with integer as a keyword so for that uh, that particular thing i'm going to take the number of lines and i'm going to make the string uh, in the size of the lines and i'm going to take the statement using s dot next line s is from the scanner scanner class we are making an object of scanner class and giving the input here and once we give the input i'm actually concatenating the lines that i have given and then i'm using split string one array uh, from the split function i'm going to take the entire string that i've given main string and string and using the function uh, split and giving a space because of all the inputs that i'm going to give i'm going to make sure that i give us uh, space so that i can split it and put it into the array so i'm doing that and putting everything into the array called split string and then i'm going to create an string array operator where i'm initializing all my operators divide into plus and my keywords is in float double and character punctuation is uh, single apostrophe double apostrophe or comma or terminator identifier as for example i'm giving as a b c or d just a small thing or we can go for ascii values uh, 65 to 92 and all and then i'm going to have assignment operator is equal to and i'm creating a 2d array and then i'm going to display my table so the format will be data type id and value and then uh, i'm having um, two for loops nested for loops in which i'm compare uh, in the first one j i'm taking the main string that i have used in split and second i'm comparing the operator if i have any operator i'll be displaying that in case not then i'm going to moving on to the next one where i'll be checking the split function with keyword and if any keywords match i'll be uh, displaying that forward to it i'll be checking if there are any identifiers in case there are then i'll display that with the values in case i have an assignment operator which means that followed by that i have my followed by that i have my value and for that my um, for, and for the is equal to part that means before that there, there is a um, value and for that there will be a uh, keyword that keyword will be stored two elements before the present thing so i'm going to display j minus 2 that is uh, the keyword that will be stored before a comma b for b i have to take integer so it will be stored two things behind that is behind comma and before a so there uh, i am displaying this where assignment comes so this is basically how it is done even for function it takes in the open braces and closed braces and counts the values in between so let's see how this program runs so i'm going to write the number of lines as 2 the statement as in a comma b is equal to 11 then give it a minute i'm making sure that i give um space between everything
here we can see that the data type is indent id is a b c d values are 11 and 34 where it is not mentioned it comes as none so this is how summary table is created thank you for watching